Okay, this is part one. In, the, in this part one, we will derive the perimeter of an ellipse. Now, at this point, the equation for the perimeter of a circle, we know what that is. That's 2 pi times the radius. But the equation for the perimeter of the ellipse, of an ellipse, we don't know what that is. So we're going to derive that. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, we have a perimeter. We have an ellipse here. And what we want to do is we want to calculate an equation that will give us the distance around this ellipse. Okay, so the problem at hand is to calculate the distance around the ellipse or the perimeter of the ellipse. I'm going to show you how to do this using calculus and the binomial series expansion. The result will be a very simple equation in terms of the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay, let's get started. So we have an ellipse here, and we have the semi-major axis A and the semi-minor axis B and the foci located on both halves of the ellipse. And here is the equation of the ellipse. x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. And the arc length of a curve is ds is equal to the small change in distance is equal to the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. Let's put this arc length in terms of a derivative. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out dx squared. So dx squared factored out of the first term it leaves 1. And factored out of the second term leaves dy over dx and all squared. Okay. And since this is under the square root sign, we'll take the square root of dx and move it outside of the square root sign. So now we have ds is equal to the square root of 1 plus the quantity dy over dx squared times dx. Okay, let's continue. Now let's take the derivative of this ellipse equation. We have our ellipse equation, and we're going to take the derivative of it. So the derivative of x squared is 2x dx. The derivative of y squared is 2x 2y dy. Okay. Now let's divide the equation through by dx. So dx divided by dx is equal to 1, and dy divided by dx is equal to dy dx, and 0 divided by dx is 0. So now let's solve for dy dx. And dy dx is equal to minus 2x divided by a squared times the quantity b squared divided by 2y. Okay, and here is our dy over dx. Let's continue. Let's plug this result into the arc length equation. So in the arc length equation, we had the quantity dy over dx squared, and from the ellipse equation, our derivative of dy over dx is equal to minus x b squared divided by y a squared. Well, let's plug that into that equation. And we plug it into that equation, and then what we do is we square it. And then let's, let's solve the ellipse for y. Once we square this, we have 1, the square root of the quantity, 1 plus x squared times b, b to the fourth divided by y squared divided by a to the fourth. Okay. So now we have a y squared here, and let's solve the ellipse equation for y squared and plug it into that. So we get y squared is equal to b squared over a squared times the quantity a squared minus x squared. And we'll plug that into our arc length equation. So we have these two y squared, so we, we substitute that in. Okay. And we factor out a, a squared. That leaves us a squared 
in the denominator, and we factor out b squared factor b squared into b to the fourth, that leaves b squared in the numerator. Then we get a common denominator, and then we can add the numerators, okay? We get the common denominator, then we can add the numerators, and then we multiply terms resulting in x squared, b squared, plus a to the fourth minus a squared, x squared. Okay, we got a b squared here. So from the Pythagorean theorem in the ellipse, we can solve for b squared. We know in this right triangle from from uh, from the center of the ellipse to the focus is a times the eccentricity. From the center of the ellipse to the top of the ellipse, the semi-minor axis is b. And from the focus to the top of the ellipse is A. So that forms a right triangle. And we can, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for B squared, which we do. And B squared is equal to A squared times the quantity 1 minus eccentricity squared. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll plug that into our... Auckland equation. Combining terms and resulting in, and after some multiplication and, and, divide, and combining terms, we get x squared a squared minus a squared x squared, which is the same thing, and they cancel out. And that leaves us our final combining terms and resulting in our equation ds is equal to a squared over a squared, which cancels, times a squared minus x squared times z squared, divided by a squared minus x squared. And then we factor out another a squared, okay? And these a squareds cancel. Okay, now let's, x, let's let x equals a sine theta. Well, x doesn't equal a sine theta, but I want to let it equal a sine theta because I want this in terms of sine theta, okay? So if x is equal a sine theta, then the derivative of x is equal a cosine theta d theta. That's the derivative of x. And from this equation at the top, we have x equal a sine theta. We divide through by a, and we get x over a is equal to sine theta. Then we plug it in to that equation. And we get sine 1 minus sine squared theta times eccentricity squared divided by 1 minus sine squared theta. And all of that is under the square root sign. Okay. We substitute dx is equal to a cosine theta d theta. And 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. So we substitute that in. And cosine squared theta is under the square root sign, so we take the square root of it, and it leaves cosine theta. And now the cosines cancel. Okay. Here's our previous equation. Canceling terms resulting in A times the square root of 1 minus epsilon squared sine squared theta, where epsilon is equal to the eccentricity. So finally, we integrate ds from 0 to s, and we integrate our distance equation, our perimeter equation from 0 to pi over 2, the first quadrant. But in order to get all four quadrants, I have to multiply by 4. So we have the integral 4a times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 times the square root of 1 minus eccentricity squared times sine squared theta, d theta. And the four is the account for four quadrants of the ellipse because the integral only accounts for, because the integral accounts for only the first quadrant. 
the equation of the perimeter ellipse of the ellipse is as written below here, as previously stated. And that's it. This is the end of our derivation of the ellipse equation. And in part two of the next video, we will integrate this perimeter equation and find the perimeter of the ellipse, of the, of the ellipse or a ellipse. I will pick an ellipse and we'll find it. Okay, that's it. Until next time.